welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba and Mervyn Price. All right, our next guest, Cricket Lee, CEO Fit Logic. Uh, Cricket, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. All right, my pleasure. You have uh, a couple of companies. You have Fit Logic, and then you also have Little Black Pant. And uh, by the way, I just want to let you know, um, our chief marketing officer, Todd Sanoga, his, his two daughters, they're, they're avid fans and clients of, of Little Black Pant. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks for telling me that. You're welcome. How great. Uh, talk to us about your background and what, uh, what Fit Logic does, because you bring new technology to this industry. I do. Uh, my background is actually product development, marketing, and launch. And I uh, saw a problem in the market with women being able to find clothes that fit and that were appropriate for their age and their shape and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so I created a fit system, and it is a, an algorithm that has two, uh, two technologies involved. One is a pattern, a scientific pattern methodology that goes into clothing, and then there's an online tool it's a fit finder where a woman answers five questions and gets her fit out of the box. So that's the whole concept of fit logic. And we have tested in all industry touch points with Macy's, Nordstrom, QVC. And I was really way too early for the industry. So I started my own house brand called Little Black Pant to drive consumer adoption. And we've got now about 125,000 women who have tried and love the concept and we are now marrying it with a celebrity and we will be launching in um, high-tech interac interactive kiosks with retailers and on in tv infomercials i probably in shouldn't ask two months. i probably shouldn't ask this but can you come back on the show with your celebrity probably okay <laughs> i know that's pushing it let's stay let's stay there stay on topic with you all right. How did you get into the, this technology? I mean, how did you come up with the, the, the technology that, that launched you from, from, from into fame and fortune beyond what you had before? Well, I had, um, was working with a woman who was the executive director of Ford Models, and she wrote a book mm -hmm. called HOAX about women's body types. And so when I decided to come up with a system and throw out the book and start over, I said, I'm going to put body shapes and body types in clothing. But I, it was a kind of a lofty thought. <laughs> I had no idea what I was up for. Um, so I kind of threw out the book because everything is now fit on an hourglass shape, which is like Marilyn Monroe. Mm. And it's because all these measurements were done like in the 1940s. By on, men, not women, right? Well, yeah, on Caucasian 25-year-old military women right okay and then those measurements were average so back in the you remember the movies you know back in the 40s and 50s everybody was post-war so everybody was thin so you really couldn't see the difference in shapes but today over 60 percent of women are, are size 12 or over and so it just means that we need more segmentation of sizes it'd be like buying a bra with a cup you know an a cup you know the difference in an a cup and a g cup i'm sure yeah. <laughs> you do. let's not go there but yes, yes. <laughs> so anyway it's a further segmentation of fit so i was just early i was way too early and fashion brands like to have their own fit and that's what they think keeps people coming back but the problem now is that e with e-commerce, the returns are like 30 to 40 percent, and we effectively reduce that at least 75 percent. So, it's um, it's a pretty you know pretty great savings for the industry. And how the system works is it's three shapes on the bottom and it's four on the top. And all we have really introduced are the three shapes on the bottom. But but the shape one would be like Nicole Kidman or. Martha Stewart or Yoko Ono, you get the picture. They're kind of straight up and down. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy Bates on the larger size. A shape two would be like um, Sarah Jessica Parker or Sofia Vergara, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Octavia Spencer on the large side. And then a shape three is the women with junk in the trunk, if you, if you know what I mean. That's like a Beyonce, <laughs> Oprah. Uh, Kirstie Alley on the big side. So <laughs> if you get the picture of the three different shapes, women all, like 95% of women fit into those three shapes on the bottom. Shape three, Rubenesque would be a good description. Do what? Rubenesque. 
This is the description. Yes, Ruben, well, Rubenesque is the large sizes, but the three shapes are in size zero through, um, well, probably double zero, all the way up through like 24 to 28. Every woman has a shape. Yeah. So right now, the sizes that we offer are sizes zero through 18, which is really not plus sizes yet. If a lady goes online, how long does it take to compute a sizes using your FitLogic t patented online tool? Well, a woman can go to littleblackpant.com and click start here and go through five questions, pick a pant, and buy her pant in less than a minute if she's quick. So I'd say a minute to two minutes is yeah, all it takes. I'm looking at it right now. It's just simple. It's very it's simple. very simple. It's designed to get you in and get you out. And then once you get your pant, um, about 15% of women get their fit, don't get their fit right out of the box. 85% of women get their fit right out of the box. And then if they don't get it the first time, because the questions are subjective according to their former shopping experiences and also sometimes according to their body perception. So we have to get the, uh, you know another... 10% of women into their fit, like with a second pant, but we pay for everything. So most women are willing to go through that with us. And you've got a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed, right? Money back guarantee <clears> says <throat> right yes. on the website. All right. Uh, next, now that you've, you've gone out there and you've blazed this trail and, and things are, are just, I mean, you mentioned the numbers, you mentioned the stores They're they're It's a great success story. What's next? Well, the next thing is to get industry adoption. Okay. So we hired DMA United. I don't know if you've ever seen their website, but they are very top-notch. They do Sony and NBA, and um, they work with Barney's and Fashion Week and Council of Fashion Designers, and they're just really the best branding agency in New York City, from my view. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hired them, and they came in, and they did an assessment, and they decided – that because retail is kind of having a rough time right now that our better bet was to associate ourselves with influencers because you know that's the whole thing now is everything's driven it's not driven by new york designers anymore it's driven by social media and television influencers so we now have our first one okay and we're actually going to pair that person up with a little black pant and we're going to we're, we have a kiosk that we're developing, which is really, you know, you know how the fit finder is working there where you answer the five questions? Mm -hmm. It will be an interactive kiosk where a woman will walk up to it, she'll look at the pant physically, it'll be right there by it, and then she'll be able to touch the screen and go through it and swipe her card. So we're actually going to just put those kiosks up in retail locations so women can come through it and buy it there, and then we'll do it kind of like a... You know, like a concession stand where the payment, we would give a piece of it to the retailer so they can test it that way, and then we can roll it out with them. All right. Uh, Mervyn, any questions? Yeah, how many colors do they come in? Well, right now we, they come in black, and we also offer gray and brown, but those are kind of ups, what they call upsells, which is after you've purchased your black paint, you can buy them in colors, and in the next month or so we'll be able to Women will be able to come back and shop different colors. By spring, we'll have, we plan to have plus sizes and colors. And into summer, we'll have like white pants and, and possibly jeans and so forth. And, and uh, different styles. And rhinestones and sequins and all of the other frills. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, here, here's the thing about little black pant. Little black pant is what they call a dumb pant. It's a very basic pant. It's a no pocket side zip pant that gets you in your fit and works with everything, like kind of like a career pant. Got it. Because the first pant women buy has to be a not too stretchy pant because we have to give them their fit. Right. So the idea is we get you in your fit, and then when you come back, then we lead you to clothes that already fit you. So now designers can adopt whichever shape they want and offer all kinds of bells and whistles and, to your point, embellishments and sequins and so forth. And the woman doesn't have to try it on. It just comes to her with fit logic in it. Just a quick question. Um, what about denim? What about if a lady wanted a form-fitting jeans because they're beautifully form-fitting? Yes. Well, once we have your your size and shape, then we can send you a pair of jeans that just fits out, fits out of the box. Wow. Now it depends how how tight you want your jeans. 
I see that. So, what, but we what, asked you all those questions in the shopping cart. What is the material they're made of? I mean, is it, uh, is it stretchy material or is it uh, cotton? No, wool? No. Not really. It's polyrayon spandex right now. It's got about 3 to 4% stretch. Okay. We can't put a lot of stretch in it right now because then you wouldn't really be getting your shape. Great. Do you understand? I, yes, I, I fully get it. I do. Yeah, because then the stretch might adapt to your body and you wouldn't know if it was the right size or not. So that's why Little Black Pant is very basic and with not much stretch because we want to get the body shape right. Then from that point on, Imagine a world where you never have to try and close again. That's what, that's my vision. That is a beautiful vision. All right, Cricket, we've, we're, we're about at the end of the segment here. I just really appreciate you coming on. Any, any final thoughts, any takeaways that you want the audience to know about uh, uh, Little Black Plant or Fit Logic before we close out? Yeah, I think that women feel debilitated when they shop. They feel bad about themselves. They think it's them. It has nothing to do with them. It's all about what they're being offered. So I think that Fit Logic is the solution to the marketplace pain, and with all, you know, good graces, it will be the next inside brand, just like Intel Inside or Microsoft. I'll bet it will. All right, Cricket, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, uh-huh, Cricket. Bye. You're welcome, Cricket Lee, CEO, Fit Logic, Little Black Plant. Excuse me, Little Black. BlackPant.com. You've been listening to CEO Money with Michael Yorba and Mervyn Price. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with David Meltzer, Sports One Marketing. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 